So these are actual errors from within Planner. And what happened was I was using a form to fill out information, right? So I use forms a lot to fill in um, and create tasks. And all of a sudden the form stopped working. So I went to Power Automate and these happened to be Power Automate errors. And the error, the first error that I received was rate limit is exceeded. Now, when you start to look this up on the internet, this would indicate to you that you have multiple power apps running or there's just not enough bandwidth. In fact, it tells you it's more of a throttling problem and to try again, and as it says here, try again in 60 seconds. This is the first error that you receive. So you can troubleshoot and go down that road and perhaps you have a, a power automate script that's gone out of control. But that was not my case. What happened was then I was presented with a new set of errors. So what was happening was I was unable to create these tasks and I thought maybe something had failed within my flow, right within my Power Automate flow. So I immediately look at this error here, create a task seven failed. So exceeded allowed limits. So I thought, golly, that's kind of weird, allowed limits. And you may see storage limit issues or limits on creating um, tasks. And I'm, I'm unclear at this point, although I do have some calls into Microsoft, if there is a limit. So in my case, and we'll flip to the next error, when I dig into it, when I dig into this error within the Power Automate flow, right here under the create a task within, this is a action within Power Automate, it says forbidden. And so as you begin to dig through that, you think, well, what do you mean forbidden? So immediately I went out and began to, tr I tried to create tasks manually within my plan or the hundreds of plans that I'm a participant in. None of them worked. So then I began to ask myself, what is the problem here? I think it has something to do with, I hit a limit within planner. Now there is a limit, but what I'm uncertain of at this point is, is a limit per user or per plan for the tasks? I lean to believe that there's a limit that a user can create tasks, a number of tasks that a single user can create. What prompted this problem was a runaway Power Automate script that kind of got out of control and created tens of thousands of tasks. In fact, it created over 16,000 tasks to be more specific. And the one plan that I looked at had over 18,000 tasks as a result. So do I think this is a major problem? I don't think it's a major problem, but if you're using Planner and using it diligently within your organization, this might be a problem in the years to follow. So we wanna make sure that we kind of understand what the problem is and then be able to troubleshoot and prevent this problem from happening. Now, one of the other challenges to this problem was the administrator did not receive any events. So there were no apparent events occurring within the Office 365 or M365 environment, which is a little bit troublesome. So how do we fix this? Well, first of all, when you get, the, you gotta delete tasks. So the way we fixed it was we found those 16,000 tasks. We began to delete those tasks, not complete them, but delete them. We deleted those tasks and now all of a sudden I'm able to create tasks. So again, I believe that this was a, that there is a limit undocumented to my knowledge of how many tasks one individual can create within Planner. It is tens of thousands, I believe. I, I believe it's well over 20,000. So creating 20,000 tasks, that's a lot of tasks. And I do know that deleting tasks reduces your quota. So if the quota was 20,000 and you delete a task, now you can create one more task. So that I do know because it's working on our environment. So how do we fix this event? Well, we can go back into Power Automate Look at the failed, where it's failed, and over here it says failed. 
and then we could just hit resubmit. Now it will resubmit anything that that task was doing. So if you created a form, it will resubmit that form information for you. You can always go to Microsoft Forms and look at the details of finding past submissions as well. Once this happens, you'll get a prompt at the top of the screen. Do you really want to resubmit? Hit OK and it automatically will rerun the task for you. So just a little heads up, if you receive this error or any of these errors, uh, this your experience may be similar to mine. In summary, the way to resolve it is delete tasks within your plan, A. B, look for Power Automate or any of unusual, if you're using Power Automate to create tasks, look at those tasks and see if they're running every minute and you can do that through the history of the power automate flow and see if something's out of control that's generating a lot of tasks and then see you may need to do maintenance on your tasks and write scripts to pull completed tasks and delete them outside of your planner environment but we'll talk about that in another video